Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at creating a chart uh, and, and making some modifications and saving that style as a template so that it can be used over and over again. And furthermore, setting that template uh, as a default so that we can launch our favorite chart uh, with just a simple keystroke. So first, let's build a basic chart. I'll go to the uh, insert tab and by the way if you want to pause the video here to set up some sample data go right ahead and do so okay so from the insert tab I'm going to start out with a standard two-dimensional column chart so I'll just choose column uh, the drop down and there's my uh, there's my chart uh, and I'd like to put this chart on a separate sheet so I'm going to choose uh, move chart location which is on the right side of the design tab under chart tools and uh, I'll choose new sheet and I'll simply call it uh, uh, new chart. So my data is now on a, on a new chart, and I'd like to change uh, the this uh, this chart style. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change the background. So I'm going to I'm going to right click on the background there and go to format plot area. And uh, from the format plot area dialog box, I'll choose under the fill page. Uh, picture or texture fill and uh, you can load a series of pictures It's actually one of my logos in the background there I'm going to go to file and uh, I'm going to load um, I'm going to load another picture there and have that inserted now what's happening is it's actually stretching my picture to try to make it fit uh, the size of the chart so I'm going to choose the option to say tile picture as texture and uh, uh, the other thing that's going on is that particular logo is very text heavy so it could be somewhat distracting from the uh, from the uh, data in the chart so I'm going to change the transparency I'm going to move the transparency slider so it's more like uh, more like a watermark and so that way you can get some branding done in your chart I actually think I'm going to go with a different image I'm going to go back to file and uh, I'll use a different image here so I'll load that image and I'll say file uh, as texture, but I've also got it as a watermark so it doesn't distract from the overall image of the chart. Uh, then I'll click close. And then I'd like to change the, uh, the columns. Right now they're all blue. It's a single series. So I'm going to right click on one of the columns and choose format data series. And from the format data series dialog box, I'll choose fill and uh, I'm going to say vary colors by point. So each column is a different color even though it's a single series chart. And uh, I think lastly uh, I'll add uh, I'll add data labels. So I'll go to the layout tab and uh, on the layout tab I'll choose data labels and I'll choose to put my data labels outside the end of each column. So we'll do outside end so those data labels appear above each column. So I think this is the chart style that I want to save as my default. So uh, if I go back to the design tab and on the left side of the design tab I'll choose change chart type. Although I'm actually not going to going to change it. Um, let's actually do this first. Let's actually choose save as template. So I'll save it as a template and I'm going to simply call it um, multicolor single series uh, column multicolored single series column and save it so I've now got that available as a template which means when I go to change chart type if I look under templates I'll see templates that I've created and when you hover your mouse over them you'll get sort of that description but I actually want to set that as my default chart so by choosing that and now clicking set as default chart now when I click OK uh, if I blow this chart away so I'll right click on the tab and choose delete so now I want to chart this data again uh, the keyboard shortcut for creating a default chart is F11 <coughs> pardon me so when I choose F11 it generates the chart again but now it's using all those settings that I went through before so again the steps are set up the chart the way you like uh, and then choose save as template 
once that's done, you can launch the change chart type dialog box. Uh, go to your templates area, select the template that you just saved and mark it as the default by choosing set as default. Once that's done, F11 will generate a new chart using that as the default style. That's it. I hope you find this useful. Please tune in again soon for more Excel demos. Have a productive day.